Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday. What day is it? 20... 27th of September. Waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to see what would happen at 109.25 last night. And finally at sort of 8 p.m. or 8.15 p.m. Swiss time, it, it eased through. Went down to 04 last night. Um, but here we are at 22. Uh, this to me looks like a false break. Uh, I think a lot of this has to do with um, this whole dollar shortage theme. Uh, month and quarter end. I don't know. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not super enthused uh, with Euro dollar downside. And we're going to try a long if we get back up through uh, 27 today. So we'll be buying on the way back up today. Trading at 21 now, 20, 26 has been the high in Asia. Dollar Swiss jumping up with this dollar buying. Again, we are fading, we are gonna be fading this. Uh, we probably, I don't know how we're gonna fade this because we still have, um, quarter and buying today probably at the fix and there will be some so we'll have to wait for the price to tell us when to fade so we're looking for a turn bar or we're looking for some sort of indication or a piece of news that is going to give us the clue uh, to sell dollar swiss dollar yen same thing hysterically traded up to 95 last night um, we're looking to sell this uh, when all of this nonsense is over. Get the feeling that 95 was the bingo number, but um, we're being patient. We're just going to wait here uh, and see what happens. But we don't really believe in this dollar strength. And so we're looking for ways to get into dollar weakness. Let's take a look at stocks. 88 the high yesterday, or actually 91 the high, but 91, 67, 88, closed at 77. Um, trading this from the short side, keeping ourselves very, very nimble. Uh, we happen to be square at the moment. Uh, we bought some 72s last night. We'll be selling at 80 and 87 today. We do think this has turned. We do think this is just choppy shit uh, that you often get when a market turns. Um, be nice if we get some price action through 55 eventually. Um, but we're keeping it light for now. Uh, it's been a good week to be short stocks. But you had to be nimble. You can't own this thing and, and uh, just send it. Send in the post. Um, you got to trade it from the short side. Only way to stay sane. Uh, so 29.55 is important. As we talked about 29.38, we think this is the most important point. And this is where all of the institutions or the CTAs are going to trade from long to short. So this is the bull bear line, you could call it here. Okay, what else is out there? Dollar CAD printed a range low. It's been so dead, Dollar CAD. I don't even know why we're talking about it, but these are now kind of important. These uh, 132, 33s. Can't really do anything yet. Again, there's a lot of this quarter end dollar buying bias uh, that's keeping this thing afloat, but we do think this is going to eventually turn, and this is not a bad little break trade level now. Uh, once the uh, Once these flows have cleared the building. Uh, have a look at that if we get back down there. Boons, we're short, trading from the short side. Really dead day yesterday. Um, didn't really do anything. We were 
bidding at the figure, didn't get them, 03 was a low. Now we're back at 33. We're just trading this at the short side. We don't have to go into the story every single day. Um, we think interest rates have turned. We think fixed income has turned. So we're trading this in the short side, um, waiting for a place to plunge. Um, and the plunge point you'll see on the interest rate side, probably this is a decent place to plunge through 40 basis points. Um, it's probably the the number. We're far from there today, so we're not uh, we're not getting into plunge mode, but um, just trading boons from the short side. Sterling Swiss waiting down here um, at 121 to reload. Trading this from the long side. We've had some negativity out of the UK. Nothing new with that, uh, but we do think Sterling Swiss is a, is um, a buy again down at 121. But again, these longer term positions. Um, you just have to quickly look at them and say, uh, is this an add or subtract day? Looks like it, neither of them are. Um, so you would just sit and wait. Euro Aussie, same thing. Looks like we're going to be able to um, add some of this Euro Aussie down through 160.150. So we'll be looking for a false break down through 160.150 and buying back through 50. We like this Euro Aussie long. I don't know really what else to say today. Um, this quarter end stuff is just annoying me. We don't really have. Let's just take a look at the uh, calendar in case I'm missing something here. I don't think we have much in the way of stuff today. That's October. October 1st. Um, European and French CPI. It's mildly interesting, but not really. Retail sales out of Spain. Consumer confidence in Europe and Italy. No, no, no. Nobody cares. Durable goods today. That's a nice one. And PCE. Oh, well, that's a nice one. So. This will be another U.S. centric trading day. It looks like. Um, do some reading in the morning. Wait for the stocks to open. Uh, wait for the tweets to start coming out. And we do have durable goods and PCE today, plus Michigan, which doesn't really move it as much as it used to. Um, but these could be trigger moments, and these are also sort of pre-fix. So 5 p.m. Swiss time. Uh, the fix. Should see some more dollar buying there, uh, and we'll be looking to fade that. Uh, but that seems hours away, so it's a good good 10 hours from now. So just keeping it real here. Looks like it's going to be uh, a light morning again. Yesterday we didn't do one click in the European morning, and today looks like it's going to be similar. We may have a look at this. Um, Euro top side through 26, but we're going to need some sort of impetus for us to really get involved. We may just keep it light um, and try a Euro long if we get above these sort of 26, 27, these are the prior lows. If we get above that, um, we like trying it on the long side. Anyway, I've said enough. Um, not a whole lot to do today. Uh, we're focusing on getting short dollars. We're not clear, quite clear 100% how we're going to do this, which is never a good sign. Um, so we're going to wait and watch. It looks like perhaps the fade after the fix uh, is going to be our weapon of choice. But otherwise, we're trading fixed income from the short side. Uh, and looking to re-enter longs in Sterling Swiss and Euro Aussie. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Uh, have a great weekend as well. It's Friday. Enjoy the weekend. Clear your mind. And uh, I will catch you guys on Monday. Ciao.